Hey, it's March the 13th. Epstein has been hung and it didn't hang himself. Let's go check out the beehive for a spring inspection. Oh, it's good to come out and see all the activity at the hive. Nice warm day. It's almost 80 degrees. They've, uh, I see pollen going in. Can't wait to get in there and see what it looks like. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I gotta tell you, I was not at all ready to see what I was gonna see when I got the cover off of this hive. Watch this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is horrible. I've cracked open the hive and there's like a million black ants in here. I can hear the bees buzzing. Um, I was not at all expecting this. All right, so I, I don't quite understand what's happening, and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check with a couple of my mentors to see what's up with all these black ants. But um, when I come in, the first frame, um, it looks like they've done some work, but I don't remember what it was like last year. They've got a few uh, a few beetles few high beetles not much work but then on the very next frame it's partially filled at the top with honey and I don't see any it doesn't look like any worse for the wear from those black ants So I've got, I've got some capped honey up in the top part of this frame. And on the other side, they're working on capping some honey. Now there's an ant. Boy, I haven't seen anything about these big black ants in any of my YouTube videos that I've watched or anything. I haven't seen anything about the big black ants. But I'm tickled to see that I'm already seeing some capped honey. You know, I had brought some uh, frames out here that I thought I might need to add, but looking at, uh, I don't think I need to add any frames because they've got this one over here that they're, that's not really being used. Let's see what else we got. All right, on the next frame, Likewise, I've got, looks like I've got pollen, I've got capped honey. Boy, good dark looking honey. And I can see what looks to me like pollen right in here.
I'm not sure how, how good that's turning out on the camera. If you can see where I'm talking about the pollen cells mixed in there. Tons of pollen on the, on the other side of this one. Lots of pollen in here. And some nectar. So far the bees are pretty docile. Looks like I got brood pattern in here. Alright, I got cap brood, I've got uh, good sized larva in there I should have brought my flashlight to see if I could see some tiny eggs way down in the bottom I don't but I do see uh, I do see larva that looks like it's just about ready to be capped so far I'm not seeing any drone brood I see a few hive beetles but it looks like they must be um, managing the amount of, of Hive beetles. I still can't get over all those dang black ants I saw. All right, on the back side here, same thing. Boy, lots of brood. Lots of brood. I may go ahead and add a frame because it looks like they're about to have a population explosion. Lots of pollen. You can see where the brood pattern stops right here. All of this swath under here is chock full of pollen. Which is good news. Good news. Well, the bees, the bees are being so very docile, which I'm, I'm pleased about. Lots of brood, man. So, I haven't seen the queen, but man, she must be busy because they are making some brood. I haven't seen a queen cell, so, so far so good. I guess they're not getting ready to swarm. We just hung Epstein today, my swarm trap. I guess I should be letting you guys see. Lots of brood on both sides of this frame. Man, I, there's just several frames with a good bit of brood. I see some larva in there. All right, now there's, I may see the beginnings of a queen cell right here. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. I think they're getting a little agitated with me now. So much brood, so much brood. They are building up their spring population, big time. I should be holding these frames over the hive at all times in case the queen were to fall. I wouldn't want her to fall down on the ground. One more. All 
All right, this looks like significant pollen storage in there. That's what that looks like to me. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, these cells are all empty, but they're working on building them out more completely. Okay, be gurus, what the heck? <clears throat> what do I do about these black ants? I'm kind of thinking maybe nothing because it doesn't seem like they're bothering the bees. Um, I don't know, but I did not expect to see that. So let me know in the comments of this video, what the heck? <laughs> All right, have you seen a congregation of black ants like that? Um, man, there were thousands and thousands of them. And, uh, if you have, did you do anything? How did you, how, you know, what did you do? Or did you just let the bees take care of their own business? I don't know. I'm curious to see what you have to say about that. So, um, you know, other than the black ants, which are just blowing my mind, I'm pleased with what I found. I'm pleased that, uh, there appears to be a lot of brood. Did I make a mistake not adding a frame or two? Let me know that down in the comments. I make mistakes every single day. So y'all let me know if I, needed to, if I need to run back out here and add a couple of frames. I brought two out here with me, but since they had one and a half that appeared to be completely empty, really two if you count the far side of this first frame over here, I said, well, they got room to work with stuff, so I just left it. But with the amount of brood that they had, and I could be wrong. I could be completely speaking out of ignorance, but it seemed to me like their population is getting ready to explode. So maybe I should have added a frame or two or three. I just don't know. So let me know in the comments what I need to do and tell me how stupid I am. I'm okay. I can take it. I'm a big boy. Well, thanks to my friend Randy over at 628 dirt rooster bees for talking me down off of the ledge he said vacuum them up or crush them as many as you can and as long as the hive looks healthy probably no big deal so i'm probably going to end up with a generator and shock vac out there <laughs> uh, getting the rest of them out of there but i feel a lot better so uh listen help me thank randy for his uh his calm demeanor and talking me off of the ledge go over to 628 dirt rooster bees Give him a thumbs up and a subscribe and chime in on some of his videos and tell him that Alderman Farms sent you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Subscribe for more nonsense at Alderman Farms. Thanks for watching. Bye.